Everyone, welcome to our very special episode of Outer Space. Why is it so special? This exact time, a year ago, is when we released our very first episode. Oh my god! We've been to Japan. We've been to other parts of Australia for conventions. We've done a ton of box openings. More box openings. Yeah. But one other thing we've also done is we done a few reviews. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, is in this channel, Out of Space Reviews, we're going to actually review some things. We're going to review items from the very first episode that we did. We said we were going to review them and by gosh, we're going to do it today on the anniversary episode of Outer Space. In that episode, link is up here, we grab some items from Army Army and Premium Bundai. So first thing first, what we got? Go on red civilian jacket made into a hoodie. It's really comfortable. Um, I've worn it a few times. I know I don't wear my Brando things too much. It's nice and warm. Mm -hmm. So we went to Japan back in uh, 2018 to 2019. I wore it then because it was winter at the time. It was really comfortable and it was really nice to wear, especially because we went to some Sentai events. So it was just like cool to wear something like that. So yeah. Now also from that, we got the Kamen Rider Genmu God Maximum Mighty Level Billion from SH Figure Arts. Look at that. In show, it's actually a repaint, but this figure came out before Maximum Mighty X, so X Aid's power up form. It's weird. It's a repaint that came out first. So the actual figure when it was finally released was a repaint of this. So I enjoy it. I, it's really cool. They don't normally do these big bulky robotic things. That's more for the Damashi line. Arm joints are weird, but it makes it feel more robotic. Swivel in the ankle, nothing for the toe. It does bend at the back of the knee also for a separate joints. Um, it's got really good articulation. The belt also flicks open and close and you can take the gash out out to either attach to his sword or if you want it to be really fancy you can attach it to just a level x genmu and then that'd be cool to pose so yeah well, if you're a fan of Kroto Dan I highly recommend getting the figure otherwise it is a pass if you're not going to collect the whole set but yeah do what you do for the fact that they try to do different things with humanoid um esque characters is really good on their part but also they're just trying to milk money from us fans yeah. All right, so moving on, we have Gotenks. This figure is of his Super Saiyan form. Um, it does not come with a regular head, but it does as a, gets as a plus, you get one of the ghosts for the Kamikaze ghosts. It's been in box for two years. The Jams is no longer worth what it was before. Now, this one's cool. It actually comes with um, two, no, just one. One um, Tamashi stages. Um, because you can either use it to pose the ghost or um, you get the um, galactic donut. One other thing with the Gotenks, he only comes with uh, two additional faces. So he does come with his standard smirk face and his um, yeah face, but then it also comes with this oops, I fucked up. I would prefer maybe one other face um, or even like they do with some later figures and just give him his normal head. So you just be like, <laughs> ah, that's what he needs. He needs his sneer. He needs his sneering face. He's like, Nye -nye, so you can get the one finger. <laughs> anyway, let's open it up. Comes with uh, four sets of hands. So it comes with the Hey You standard fists, a blasting, a key blast effect, victory. So you can either be like, he he or hmm. <laughs> And then standard ones, so like for more of his martial arts, he'd be like... <sighs> Grapple. Now I find it weird that they'd package this um, donut. I call it a donut attachment because it's literally for the donut here. But they would package it inside the plastic package instead of with the Tamashi parts. Maybe it's for um, copyright purposes because there are some fakes of Dragon Ball figures. So if they don't make that, then people will be like, what's this piece for? And it's like, oh, well, looks like I bought a fake because they most likely won't come with the extra optional effects like a donut. It comes with the standard piece, which goes you can use it to connect this part here so you can have a higher up donut attachment. And the second one is a smaller one because it's exclusively made for the ghost. 
there we go. So you can make the ghost be like, hey, my ghost. <laughs> and he's dead. But ghosts are already dead. Shut up. So with Go Tanks, um, he has a standard pose ability as the um, Dragon Ball figure arts range. On the back of his arms, you'll see the croissants are attached to his arms, like at the shoulder blade. Um, it, his sash is movable. It can do splits pretty well, especially because this is under the uh, Dragon Ball 2.0 figure line. It has a weird crotch, as you can see in these shots. You have better movements for the legs, so you can do different poses of kicks compared to the original line where it was a bit more restrictive. Replacement face is easy to take off. <laughs> hand replacements, pretty simple. Getting the hands out is a different story. <laughs> like, yeah, number one. Yeah, well, hey you, what do you think you're doing? We're gonna defeat you, Majin Buu. You're going down. Um, it also goes great when you pose it with um, Piccolo, like when he was being trained, and also with Super Buu, which came out a few months after Gotenks came out. Um, with the effects, you can make really great battles. Um, you can either do where Gotenks is losing, or Gotenks is winning, or Piccolo is there going, what the heck is happening, type poses. Overall, it's actually a really cool figure. For what it came with, and for its price as a regular uh, release figure, it's actually pretty cool. If you wanted more ghosts, you will have to buy another Go Tanks, but they all have share the same face. You don't want too many nah faces because the ghosts had their own personalities, so... 7 out of 10. <laughs> Next, everyone's favourite, rocks. The Tamashi Effect Rock Effect Effects. From Tamashi Nation, we have the Tamashi Effect Rocks. Pose your figures on top of the rocks. Put figures on top of rocks, on top of other rocks, on top of other rocks! And then use your fingers to kick the rocks from the machine! Cool. So, rocks. You can do better with your rocks. And we're glad that you picked Tamashi for all your rocky needs. Grand sponsor no tekyo de no okurishimasu. From Kamen Ride XA Trilogy, another ending. Parad with Poppy. We have the uh, Gashat Gear Duel Another. The personal Gashat of Another Paradox. With this item, it is just the Gashat. As such, it is in a black color. It is exactly the same as the um, Gear Gashat Duel and the Gear Gashat Duel Beta. Only real differences compared to the original one, it is in all black. Once you insert it into the game, Gamer Driver, um, then the transformation jingle is actually a little bit different from the standard Paradox uh, Henshin jingle. This was exclusively for P Bandai because they didn't expect so many to be sold as a regular. While back when um, X Aid was out, the one of the harder things to get was the original Paradox um, Gashat and also the uh, Gashat Gear Dual Beta for uh, Snipe and Brave because they were also popular characters. So that's why anything that they think might not be popular will like this. Only made for a movie character wasn't that. Great, it was just a evil foil. It goes to P Bundai. It's mainly because, as I said before, it is just a, another color change to something that already exists. So you don't really need to add it to your collection unless you want all the gas hats like I do. All right, so moving on to the last three items, it's ride watches. So what we have are the ghost ride watch and ride watch holder, the Forze ride watch, and finally the X Aid ride watch. Now, if I was to open them, you'll find that there's nothing there. Why is that? Because, here we go. So that's what a completed Ride Watch collection looks like. So this is what a whole year's worth of Kamen Rider DX 
toy collecting looks like. Kamen Rider Zio was a anniversary series, so that's why they were all powers of the different Kamen Riders. But for this review, we're only focusing on the three. This one, this one, and this one. With the ride watch holder, it does perfectly fit two ride watches on it, um, as seen in this picture right here. It's mainly you had to get it if you wanted to complete your tower of ride watches, but otherwise you could use it for costumes if you really wanted to. But kids like to display it in Japan and be like, wow, yeah, I got all these things. So let's get into it with the ride watches. So we got ourselves the ghost ride watch. We have the X Aid Ride Watch. And the Forze Ride Watch. These were all individually sold. Um, they never came as like a two set. I do like Forze, so I was happy to get that one. And I did like x -Aid, but then there was a Genmu one, so I had to get that one too. Just from there, it spiraled out of control. And now I have all the main 20 because then it turns out he needed all 20 for his final form. So I was like, oh boy, I can't wait to do this. I originally said to myself at the start of the year, don't collect all the watches. Oops. So yeah, that's today's episode. Um, as we saw, we went back and reviewed some of the crazy things that we got over a year ago. If you really enjoy our content, like and subscribe. Remember, we have a Twitch, so please go to our, the Twitch page, which is located right here, or at the bottom of the comments, and watch me play video games. There'll be a lot of crazy video games coming out in the future, and we'll probably be doing some uh, Let's Plays that will chuck on YouTube also if they're actually funny, but they're not, yeah. Happy birthday to us from myself and director San. Thank you for joining us for this past year, and we hope to see you again. Bye! Get out of here! <laughs>